Good morning and welcome to Arabesque. It is morning here and London has woken up and we have taken you to the beautiful Sophie Tell for the Rolex Awards. Well, the Rolex Awards were set up in 1976 by the watch company based in Geneva by the previous chairman, Andre Heiniger, who wanted to do something positive and different on the 50th anniversary of the Rolex Oyster, which was the world's first waterproof watch. So this is an awards program. It's one of the oldest and most prestigious corporate awards, at least in Europe, and it's been running since the 1970s giving funding to exceptional individuals all over the world who are doing innovative projects that advance human knowledge or well-being. Today in London we are uh, giving awards to the five young laureates of this year. They're, they're very inspiring, very, um, very interesting working in Africa, India, the Middle East, uh, uh, we have in, in South America and in projects ranging from medical devices for poor resource settings to uh, expeditions to fighting infectious diseases and uh, it's really a wonderful group of young people. We want to get the word out that we've had, we've supported, we've had laureates from Jordan, from Syria, um, in, from Egypt, uh, but this is the first time we've had a laureate ever from Saudi Arabia and we're thrilled. It's Hosam Zawawi who is working on this very important issue of superbugs and the global threat to human health that they pose and uh, we want more young people particularly but people of all ages to know about the Rolex Awards in the Middle East so I think it's a question of awareness and maybe also people don't push themselves forward. Uh, people can be nominated now or they can self-apply. What we want to do is inspire people. We want to inspire young people to go out and make something of their lives and make a difference. And these are role models that we're hoping to empower and encourage to pursue their dreams. And these dreams are basically to make the world a better place. I remember getting this email from um, um, Mary in, um, in first Ramadan and she asked me if you wanted to be part of the jury. Uh, I was thrilled um, because to be also in this type of um, uh, committee for me is important because if you have a passion in life about to make the world a better world and how you can have the effect of science and technology to change people's life to better one and to be also in the decision maker roles of deciding who should win uh, to make an impact in society, I found that uh, really, really, truly uh, awarding because we're aiming to have more women uh, in, that, in this type of position uh, because we think differently and we look at science uh, impact or um, use um, from different perspective. There are a lot of candidates, I think I heard about 1,800 and they go through many interviews and then we get the finalists of about maybe between 26 to 30 candidates and we all go to Geneva, all eight of us, we are eight members and we stuck there in one room for three days, <laughs> be friendly to each other and go through uh, all the candidates. Um, we look at um, not who achieved the most, we look at whose idea is going to have, um, uh, need help most and it's really it will have an impact. Particularly for me, I want more of social innovation, social impact, how can link society from the start to the uh, community, how we can feel them, how we can uh, uh, communicate with them and see what is needed the most. I'm really happy to know that um, I selected in my mind five, uh, which I really wanted, um, and all of them won. <laughs> I was young when my father received a nice present from a relative of us. It was a microscope. And uh, that uh, microscope was the, opened a new 
era in my personal life because I was able to, to visualize small objects at the time. And I, I realized that there are really huge world beyond our eyes capability. And um, I still remember actually the first uh, glimpse of an ant under the microscope. So it was really cool at that age. So that's how I learned about microbiology by spending one year with, a, with an intention to, to move back to medical school. After one year, I decided this is, the, this is it. it. It seems like really interesting. The, we can improve the microbiology. We can my, enhance my science skills to do such an impact on patients' health, same as we, uh, what physicians could do directly, but we could do it through science. During my undergraduate studies, I learned about uh, antibiotic resistance. Uh, but most importantly, when I started to practice in clinical uh, laboratories as a scientist, I realized the issue of antibiotic resistance even more, particularly because I had to read about patients' uh, cases and what infections they had. Uh, the first research was for me to, to look at the level of bacteria that can spread in the hospital environment and particularly on uh, doctors' mobile phones. Uh, we, 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 we found that the, the mobile phones can, can be victims for, for uh, hospital-related uh, hospital, uh, pathogens. We have established the first network of collaborating hospitals in the Gulf countries. And by sh we started with seven hospitals, agreed on sharing samples and, and uh, bacterial samples and as well as uh, data about the uh, superbugs that uh, spread in, in, among these hospitals with the intention to develop a surveillance network of, of wider network in the Gulf for ongoing surveillance programs. It, it's such a tremendous support for, for our project. We need people to know more about it and, and thankfully the award is, is helping us to spread the, uh, to spread the word about uh, antibiotic resistance and the need for work and, and effort need to be invested in this area. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy the show. See you next week when we were on the streets of London to find you more of the best events that the UK has to offer. Until then, take good care.